Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Final Fantasy XV. Alright, when we left off, we're finally getting to a main fucking mission story. Hey, how about that? Who'd have thunk it after all of the side quests I've been doing? But, uh, not taking any more of them on. I'm just gonna leave them for later because a lot of them will still be there. Uh, and. Quite frankly, I probably have enough AP and strength in general to do any and every quest that's going to sit there. So, uh, yeah, I should be at least far enough ahead. It's nice to not have to kill anything. Yeah, it is nice. You're right, Prompto. It is nice. Uh, we're, we should be far enough ahead in levels that I won't need to do anything for a good long time. So, uh, yeah, no more boring side quests. All main story. Probably. <laughs> Sometimes they can make convincing arguments, though. Just FYI. All right, hey. There you all are. Oh. Your weapon now. Better engine blade. Awesome. Beautiful. Well, looks like we got some new gearheads in the making. Do we? All right. Oh, he can upgrade the engine blade further. A sturdy helix horn. Do I not have that? Do I not have that? I just want to see. Oh, and it gets me the Ultima Blade if I do that. No! I just said I would be done on side quests, but the Ultima Blade is kind of good. Mm. Let's see where 3 is right now. Is three? Oh, three is better than the blood sword. Oh no! Now I need the ultimate blade. Oh no! Oh no! Sturdy helix horn, huh? Sturdy helix horn, huh? Okay. Greatly enhanced by Sid. Yeah, you're not kidding. Oh. The only, the only difference between the two is that this gives me health and this gives me elemental powers. But, oh, well, I mean, there's, there's also the higher strength in general, too. Oh, my God. I can't, I can't pass it up. I can't pass it up. Stat go up. Stat go up. <laughs> Not much go down, but stat go up. Okay. Ah, oh boy. Dude. <laughs> I'm in trouble. <laughs> I want to check something. Do I not have a sturdy helix horn? Like, anywhere? I don't. Okay. What? what? I do. I'll give you a call when it's ready. Alrighty. I can hand oh, over the dynamo for the bio blaster. For power. Okay. How y'all do? I need to unequip the weapon. I need to unequip the weapon. Please tell me I do not need to wait too long. Please tell me I do not. I do not need to wait too long. Ah, y'all brace yourself for power. Oh, I y'all brace yourself for power. I unequipped it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah. <laughs> Come on. You're gonna make me do side quests, aren't you? I don't know who glad he's talking to, but it looks like he's talking to someone. Uh, man. Lights on, guys. All right. Let's see what's back here. Huh, kitty. Huh? Hey, 
You're the cat we saw in Galden. Hey! Oh, your paws sure brought you a long way from home, little guy. You must be hungry after all that walking. Yeah, he must be. No restaurants around, though. I wonder if anyone around here knows a thing or two about cat food. Why don't you try asking Monica? She mentioned having kept several cats back home. Wow, huh. and she never gave off a crazy cat lady vibe. I hope we don't have to go all the way back to Galton. Oh, uh, the cat well, came all the way to Kayam. What drew yeah. here anyway? His dear friend knocked, of course. <laughs> oh, of course. Dear friend knocked. You better save her every oh. last morsel, buddy. That cat food there cost us a fortune. I don't remember buying this. <laughs> you really got a soft But spot hey, we did it. <laughs> they bring out a nicer knocked. Yeah, a little bit. nicer to us. Although the lights are really good, but I won't. <laughs> yeah, they kind of deserve it. But all the lights are kind of whitewashing the hell out of the cat. Okay, what's this? Ooh, an Oracle Ascension coin. Another of a thousand. Do I need all of those for a good ending, or what? Is that why they were available for quest points for so long? Is that what it is? I have no idea. Does that count as a side quest? Does that count? Ah, oh, y'all brace yourself for power. Oh, come on. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay, once you depart, you will lose access to the open world for a while, and rental chocobos will automatically return to the post. All right, well, as long as I get to come back and get the Ultima weapon. <laughs> the Ultima weapon must be gotten. And I have the stuff for it. I'm going to be open my coffee. opening my coffee. That's what I meant to say. Just give me a second. There we go. Tried not to make it too loud. Waiting for you and Alticia. Aww. That that one's the best option out of the two. Be there as fast as I can. Well, out of the three, rather. Other than got it, which is just kind of stupid. I mean, it's the fiance for fuck's sake. At least show some emotion. You can show disdain for your buddies, but that's because most of them have earned it. Alrighty, down we go. Oh, I can walk around it. Even though the camera's kind of fucking first person through most of it. There we go. Better. Alrighty. And we're here. Doctors, even the marshal came to say goodbye. Really? Whoops. I was, I was trying to talk to the I kid. I heard the going on the boat with you. Yeah. That'd be something. Hey, Iris. I guess it's goodbye for now. Yeah, for now. For now, anyhow. Ooh, what's this? Alright. Oh, rotted soil under blighted sky, a dreaded plague the wicked has wrought. In the light of the gods, sworn, sword sworn at his side. Against the dark, the king's battle is fought. From the heavens high to the blessed below shines the beam of a peace long besought. Long live thy line in the stone divine for the night when all comes to naught. That, uh... That kind of suggests everything's gonna not end well. Don't it? <laughs> all comes to naught in particular. Um, mm. well then, oh, hey, the marshal, like he said, just up the stairs. Something I gotta get off my chest. All right. What's that? Yes, you used to have a long hair like a dork. I'm sorry. Sorry I wasn't there for your father. Oh. 
I swore an oath to protect the king, but uh, I wasn't strong enough to uphold it. Dude, you tried your best. Ain't nothing nobody could have done to stop what happened. Yeah. Hey, Sid. I realize that. But you need to realize just what you mean to the boys by your side. I do. Even if they can't solve your problems, you can't hide what's going on from them. Yeah. It hurts like hell. Remember, those ain't your bodyguards. They're your brothers. Trust in them, always. I think Noct has never really looked at them like bodyguards in the first place, if anything. But, uh, I, I would hope, anyway. He hasn't. Alright, well. You can never have too many tools. Here. Learn to wield not only weapons, but magic as well. Alrighty. Oh! Another magic flask. Cool. Just remember, it's a destructive force that doesn't discriminate. I suggest putting someone in charge of it. Well, I mean, we also have that, uh, accessory that completely negates friendly fire, so... That's, uh... That's gonna be helpful. If, you know, we need to keep doing that. Alright, I guess I gotta... Where's the fucking... Where's the regalia gonna fit on Waiting the boat? For an invitation? Get your asses on board! <laughs> Alright, yelled crotchety. Alright. Brave New World. Hey! Your Majesty! Yeah? What's up? Please! Come back soon! We need our king! Uh, yeah! Count on it! I don't think, uh... Don't think Noct has a choice anymore, does he? Hey! Seaworthy! Complete chapter 8. Well, there's that done. Oh yeah, I forgot I had a lot of experience just sitting there. <laughs> Gladdy and Prompto are the only two that haven't hit 57. Oh, that sucks for them. That's just goofy. Oh, that's just a cheesy shot. That's a cheesy posed shot. I love it. <laughs> okay, Prompto. Oh, and it popped on my computer. Cool. Alright. As it should. What the fuck is this even supposed to be? I think that was an accident. Um, this this is actually kind of a dramatic shot here. I kind of like it. <laughs> uh, just for the dramatic goofiness. These two. These two dorks. Alright. Oh! How am I supposed to say no to that? How am I supposed to say no to that? I can't. I can't. That needs to be... That needs to be saved. Alright. That's just fucking cute. Alright, Chapter 9. Callings. Noctis receives a warm send-off as he sets sail for Altitia in high spirits. The prince goes forth ostensibly to seek the blessings of the high... Hydraean? <laughs> Hydraean? I don't fucking know how to pronounce that. Which will enable him to challenge the Empire's might. But his true heart's desire is to find Lunafreya, his betrothed. And who can blame him, huh? They've been separated for this entire time. He has probably wanted very much to just hug her and just sob it out over his father. I mean, fuck, I would. Man. <laughs> Here's
here's hoping that they can actually, you know, meet up and, you know, do stuff. <sighs> there we go. I was about to say, the load's taking a lot longer than I thought it would for a uh, out-of-open-world area. The wedding day arrives, but alas, without the bride. Of course, we've come for the Hydrian. Hydrian. And okay, you've was right. gone to such lengths to prepare. Merely my duty. Ah, but for an outsider to lead the Imperial Army must be a battle in and of itself. You've spoken to Lady Luna Freya. No. That obstinate secretary, standing in the way, while you rush off to slay the Hydrian for your poor sister's sake. I know the price of the Covenant. I'm sorry, what? There's a Covenant? You know... I've always wanted to go sailing like this. Okay, this boat's a little bigger than I thought. In insomnia. Out here, it's just us and the horizon. It's amazing. It's life-changing. We have quite a ways to go until we reach Altisha, so keep gushing to your heart's content. <laughs> He's probably road, going to. Be in a foreign country. The anticipation alone is a foreign sensation. Then to think this is where we were headed to begin with. We've been through a lot. And there's still more to come. So, yep. next on the docket is Leviathan. What sort of deity are we dealing with? A serpent set to embody the roar and rage of the sea. And we'll have to see for ourselves. Boo! Can't let Lady Luna Freya do all the heavy lifting. Yeah. You must be so psyched to see her. Luna? Yeah. We need to make sure she's alright before anything else. Yeah. Indeed, her well being is top priority. Don't like this going down on Imperial turf. You think Lady Lunafreya is in danger there? The Empire did invade Lucis for the ring. True. I have no faith that ruthless ambitions would stop short of harming the Oracle. Yeah, I mean, Without if that ring, was any indication that a rock. fucking uh, hmm. cutscene before, there might still be something Lady going on there. Freya came to have the ring? It seems likely His Majesty entrusted it to her safekeeping back at the Crown City. So she's held on to it this whole time, all the way to Altitia. The ring is important, and so is Leviathan. But Luna comes first. You know, I was thinking back to our encounter with Ravus. Hmm. Do you recall yeah, the brother Ravus in place of his arm? Yeah, I remember. Seems he lost his old one in the invasion, but in its place, he seems to have acquired new power. Yeah. Power? That would help explain how a son of Tenebrae suddenly came to command Niflheim's army. Now that you True. mention it, his strength did seem sort of supernatural. I just chalked it up to the Oracle lineage. His ancestry made yeah. part of it. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could that be part of it. That wouldn't account for his freakish strength. Yeah. I wonder what could have happened to him. There's a disturbing rumor about... Oh, boy. Lord Ravus has taken to brandishing His Majesty's sword. Oh. My dad. Then what's the big idea behind that? That his power's the same as the power of kings? Mm. I cannot say for sure, but I have my doubts. Ravus swears the sword, yet doesn't wield it. Hm. For all his newfound powers, he's still the Chancellor's lapdog, holding on to the enemy king's sword like some badge of honor. It might help if we knew what he was after. Yeah. Yeah, it might. What are the odds the Empire will crash the pool party with Leviathan? Consider it a guarantee. Yep. They failed a god to prevent Noct from receiving his blessing. They'll do so again. But we beat him to the big guy. Thanks to our friendly guide. Never know which way that one's gonna move next. The Chancellor yeah. has an agenda all his own. Sometimes it helps. Like when he called off his army and let us escape. Yeah. He's still a creep about it. Oh, absolutely. Feels like he's only helping us because he wants something. I just don't know what. Yeah, that'd be nice to know. Certainly hope not. Not your Oops. type. No love lost for phonies. 
As Gladio said, his actions are motivated not by altruism, but by self-interest. And when he does come to our aid, I see only condescension in his eyes. Yeah. I can't argue with that. Ever think you think too much? Sometimes, but it's always preferable to the alternative. So. Is that a jab so at Prompto? Your old man's ring back. Yeah. yeah. When we arrive in Altisha. Good thing. To him, it was his heritage. Is that what my dad said? Oh, that there's Gary cities over the there. Royal line ain't a task to be taken lightly. No. For a small thing, that ring can sure weigh heavy. After he became king, I only ever saw his face in the paper. Yeah. Wait, weren't you at the coronation? No, I was long gone from the city. Oh, no. You must have been invited, at least. Had a fallen out of sorts with your old man. Right at the end of a trip. Oh, no. You did? I was given to understand you stayed in touch. We buried the hatchet years later, but never talked face to face again. Should have paid a visit while I had the chance. Well, no use dwelling on it now. Got the regalia in the hold, but y'all gonna stay in Altitia for a good while, right? Yes. We believe so. I in hope case, not. I'll tune her up for y'all. Not that I'll have much to do, though. <laughs> well, with Cindy looking after the old girl. Oh, so both of y'all are coming along. She must be great. She was never afraid of hard work. Heaven knows she had a hard childhood. A hard childhood? What happened? He means her parents. Ah, uh, yeah, Lost that. Them both when she was little. Yeah, that I remember. She was big enough to understand, though. And to hurt. Yeah. But you wouldn't guess that, seeing her now. Not at all. She's always so cheerful. That's usually how it goes. Well, I to tell you how far she's come. Now you must have seen your fair share of Altisha by now. Yeah. Only done been the once. Stayed a good while, though. What's it like? Big old city. Big. Okay. Well, <laughs> it ain't the crown city. Well, yeah, Different. that's true. Got it. <laughs> Fucking sarcastic time. Change of scenery ought to do you good. I'm well, probably I'm not sure about. of all that. Can't be far to Altisha now, right? We'll be there in no time. Nice having the wind at our backs. Yeah, I bet. Yep. All work and no play? Uh huh. Makes it a dull boy. Someone has to be able to see you too. Well, you're welcome to sleep in the wild. Yeah. No that's hotel, true. but I know a fella has a place. Hey now. Westcom ran with Reggie and me way back when. Westcom. Oh, was he the other one in that photo with the garage? Yeah, runs himself a diner or a cafe or something. Go and see for yourself. Yeah, you can tell how long sure. it's been since they this talked because he doesn't man. even know what the place. Is. Or Magu or uh, Mago. That's the one. <laughs> nice. Mago. You can count on Took him West, long enough. <laughs> He'll chew your ears off. Oh, I'm sure the he will. The government issued a statement promising that the reasons behind awakening the Hydrian would be clarified in the ceremonial address. Got a signal. Delivering the address will be Lady Luna Freya, who was previously reported dead. This will mark her first public appearance since the violence that befell the signing ceremony. So now it's Lady official Luna that she's not dead. Speech? Sounds okay. like it. Lord knows this world could use some wisdom. Be yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. Oh my. Yeah, they were not kidding. This is a big fucking opulent city. The height of opulence here. There's no denying that. Although the textures in the background there do not seem to want to load. Does this vessel have an entry permit? Do I need an entry permit? Uh, entry permit? Oh, Relax. Boy. I got one. <laughs> Here. That's as old as they get. Do you, you see his face? Do you see his face? <laughs> that is as old as it gets. <laughs> fucking don't mock the past when you can see the, the old guy fucking Good driving the that. boat. 30 odd years ago. That's what the guy meant by old. Lucky us, huh? 
It could have ended badly. Yeah, it could have. <laughs> yeah, it very much could have. But yeah, look at this fucking city. I need to zoom out just to get a good shot. Oh, hells yes. Oh my god. Man, this is the biggest boat in the harbor. <laughs> Speak of opulence, there's our fucking boat. <laughs> Being the biggest thing in the whole marina. Phew. Finally back on land. Not barely. They call it the walls of water. But it ain't just the walls. It's the whole damn city. Ah, Which is why we can't traverse the town cool. by conventional means. We'll need to rely on gondolas instead. And that hey, explains the Italian music. Boats. Hey, not huh? this. Catch. Huh? Oh. oh, hey. Key to the boat. What? Don't you want to go sailing again? I do. Yeah. Oh, and here sure? comes the rain. Why not? Old girl ought to be sturdy enough. Not even an awful driver like Reggie could sink her. <laughs> Way to throw a red a king us. can't rule with wisdom alone. He needs perspective. So get out there and see the world, you hear? Hell yeah. Absolutely, Sid. I agree with that. Sid has given you the key to the royal vessel, but you are not able to go sailing at this time. Later, though. Later, later, later. Can I talk to you about... I guess not. Okay. Oh, I can't save either. Son of a bitch. Okay, well, I guess I'll just continue on What's until next? I can. Immigration? What do you mean? There's still more? Yeah. Yes, there's still more steps. It's not that easy. Knocked. Come on now. Sir, guess I gotta get past you. Purpose of your visit? Um. Purpose, uh... Fun. Oh, fuck. Uh huh. Dignus assistance. Dignus a little help. Oh. Give me a hand here. Utterly hopeless. Come on. We are scholars of the culinary arts, and we've come to study the renowned cuisine of your fair nation. Yeah, for you. Is that so? I wish you an enlightening stay. Well, thank you. Another one you owe me. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Don't you let me forget. How about the cafe in the brochure? You want to check Wescombe's place out? Yeah, let's all go to Mago. Perhaps we'll even make it in time for tea. Maybe. And we'd better start looking now. Yeah, Sid seems to be going off on his own thing over here. What should I buy? Alrighty. Well, Sid wasn't kidding, it is big. Yeah. <laughs> crowded too. Yeah, very crowded. You're not staying at a hotel? Fancy rooms were never my style. That's fair. Need food? Managed to stay fed all these years. Not gonna starve to death now. That's fair. Oh, Wes will see that I don't go thirsty either. <laughs> You're talking about booze, ain't you? Why are you dawdling here? Go on, get. I don't know. I was just asking if you're fucking done with my sword or something. That's all. Okay, now I can save. Oh, thank God. All right. Now I can end the episode. Anywho, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games. And finally taking that boat trip all the way to fucking Altitia. Which has taken me forever and a half to get to. And uh, hopefully with Sid here we can finally get the Ultima Blade while we're... Just out and about over on this side of the uh, continent, I guess, for you.